starting a new series of Minecraft Forge 1.8.9 modding tutorials. So this is just going to be 1.8.9 because 1.9 is terrible. Oh, 1.9.4. When did that come out? When did the Forge come out for that? I don't know. Um, not going to do. And 1.7 is outdated. So yeah. And if you if you want to make mods for any of these versions, you just yeah. The 1.7. Some people still use it in this mod packs and stuff. Let's get right in this. So what you're going to want, you can either get latest or recommended. I'm going to get the recommended because I've already got it downloaded. I would recommend getting the recommended because it's recommended. You know, the reason I haven't been recorded. Uh, also, there's not been the wonder. To go away. If that happens, tell it no. And if that happens, tell it no. Um, <laughs> say it, say yeah, that yeah, yes to that. Um, ignore that. Um, go away. Uh, beautiful. I changed that. Yeah, I changed that. Look, I made new stuff. And look at that. Um, <laughs> there haven't been much of the wanderer recently. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to. Um, you're gonna want to. <coughs> You're gonna want to die. That's what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna want to just copy this, uh, and then oh wow, Jesus! How many of the same thing do I have? Um, some I really hope this works. Half the time it doesn't work for me. I'm just gonna create something on my desktop and call it um, oh, Forge Modding Tutorial. Today this is just gonna be a basic setup stuff for me. You're also gonna want to paste that file you downloaded here. If you want, you can extract that, but I can't be bothered because effort. That might actually be why it never works when I don't extract it. I don't know. Um, so half the time it doesn't work for me, so it's just, yeah. Uh, so you want to paste that into here. I keep forgetting I'm actually recording this. Uh, you're going to want to create three text documents. The first one you're going to want to call. You don't have to do this in a text document. You can do these in three, just opening command windows. But it's better to do them in text documents. Well, you do need the build dot bat. Well, actually, you don't really, but it's better to do it like this. So set up work workspace dot bat. Dot bat is important, and if you can't do that, I'm just gonna let me do that first. The file name doesn't really matter, but if you can't do set up workspace, you're gonna want to press not F11. Um, I forgot what button it is. Oh wait, I've I've got them gone now. What, what button is it? <laughs> then do that stop recording. Oh oh, that didn't record. Oh, maybe I should change the key for fraps quickly. Fraps, change your key to minus. That's not minus. That's minus. There we go. Just changing that to minus. So yeah. Uh, so that I can actually press F10 without it's breaking. So press F10. Uh, tools. Folder options, Full tools, folder options, review. Then you want to check. Uh, don't you don't need that checked. Uh, no, you want to uncheck. Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, uncheck that, and then go back to here, and then you can do it. So then you want to make another one, and call that one anything. So that's setting up your eclipse. Oh yeah, this is for Eclipse, by the way. I don't know about other things that are doing it. And another one which we don't need yet, but I'm going to set up anyway, which is build.bat. Yes, whatever all those happen, just say yes. So you're going to want to write, open that and call it, and write in it, um, to edit it, uh, Gradle W, because that's the uh, Minecraft thing that it uses to set up all your stuff. Gradle W setup, set, setup, decomp workspace space if this doesn't work there are a few things you can do um, like increasing the RAM for Gradle or uh, there are some parameters you need to add but if you do have problems with that just google it google has the answers I know or ask the Minecraft forums because Minecraft forums do actually help except when you get annoying people who just get really annoying and then rage at you I had that happen um, Gradle W Eclipse like he wasn't even helping, he was just like, maybe the thing is doing the thing, and you do the thing, and it's the example thingy. But yeah, that's enough of that little round there. Uh, and then, great, uh, great, great old. I think this is, I forgot what this is actually, but we'll find out later. Oh Jesus. Uh, Gradle W build, so you've got Gradle W eclipse, Gradle W setup decom workspace, and Gradle W build. So first you're going to want to run this. W setup decomp workspace 
and that will run for a little bit so let's let this run quick side note here if it does get stuck uh, some of the parameters you can run it with is if you control shift right click in here and you run it in a command window you can add the parameters um, dash uh, stack trace to see where it's getting the problem and also if you run it in a command window it won't close after it finishes so you'll be able to see the errors also a bit where I did uh, the deobfuscating de mcsrg that's normally where it gets stuck for me but now it's seems to be getting stuck here so that's cool but it should work eventually Okay, so after 8 minutes it is now done, and now we can move on to setting up Eclipse. This doesn't normally take as long, but sometimes it does take a little while. So we'll sit through this and see if it takes ages. If it takes ages, I'll just speed this bit up and... Yeah. That'll, that'll be fine. It's all fine. You see, it's quick. It's really quick. Because it's really just gotta, like, set up some stuff. Link it all. Yeah, you see? Really quick. Oh yeah, it's also got to set up, like, starting clients. Like, there we go, it took 35 seconds. Um, and we need to run your Eclipse. Yes. Run it. Spoilers. <laughs> I'm working on other mods. Um, oh, that's one of them. But you, I, I bet you can't guess it from that. Uh, so if I go... Uh, yeah, where did I put it? Oh yeah, I put it on desktop. Um, Forge Morning Tutorial. And then you want to go to your folder and Eclipse as your place to run it from. Um, if you want to use it as default, select that so it doesn't come up with this every time. If this isn't your first time running as Eclipse and you have set something as a default, you can go File, Open Project, or Change Work. Yeah, File Change Workspace, and then select your workspace that way. Sometimes Eclipse does take a while to start up though, which is really annoying, but yeah. It's worth it. <laughs> so you can make pretty cool mods with this. I've also got my Minecraft running in the background because I have a, a quarry and I want it to mine while I'm not there. And I I just leave stuff running because I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so you've got this. And there are a few things that this will be like. It probably won't have the Java thing. If you don't have it as the perspective of Java, just go here and type in Java and select Java if it loads and actually shows up. Yeah, so just select it from there as the Java perspective. And then you can just close these because you don't need them. And then just make that go small. And also, for the purpose of looking good and not looking absolutely horrible, package presentation hierarchy. Hi 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 I can't. I've never 
never can. And you want to go to here and just delete this. Just delete it. It's just an example mod made by the Forge guys. You don't need it. Delete it. Just delete it. It's all gone. It's all going. And then the last thing we're going to do in this video is just set up our basic password pack package. So you want like say your Minecraft username, uh, and then your mod name, tutorial mod. So there you go. You've got that now. And then just make a little thing, tutorial mod. Make a package. You want to keep it to the package, the not package, uh, the class naming thing because like say that look it says java java by, by convention you gotta do it just like that and don't put spaces in it because you can't if you want a space don't put an underscore either that's weird just don't put spaces basically and then finish and then it will do that and make your class and if you're weird like me you'll do that because i don't stick to the normal rules some rebel yeah so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did drop a comment and a like or a dislike if you didn't like the video and drop a comment even if you didn't and say why you didn't because equality and if you did like it and you want more subscribe to get notified and i make i sound like an idiot <laughs> i sound like such an idiot okay so i'll uh next time we're gonna get into some proper proper top class modding rather than just setting stuff up um so yeah that's basically that's just the basics of setting things up with eclipse these videos will probably be shortish because i'm gonna some, some of them will be short some of them will be long there's not really going to be a set length because i'm going to go through one thing in each video sometimes more um if it's something like really short it'll take like 30 seconds um and yeah so basically that's it for today next time we're going to be working on setting up your main class and proxies so, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Also, I hope you like the new intro. And also, sorry, there hasn't been any The Wanderer 2.0 lately. And there won't be any. What day is this video going to go out on? These are going to go out on Friday nights. Let's mix it up a bit and say 8pm. Because, why not? Uh, and, yeah, The Wanderer 2.0. Actually, maybe I have to put stuff on Saturday. I'm going to record a video after this to put up in place of Wanderer 2.0 on Saturday. Because I've got nothing. i got nothing. Uh, and I, I can't record anything. Well, I probably have something that I haven't edited yet. And that takes effort. <laughs> I, I know I said I... Like, it's been like... How long has it been since I said I was going to end? Jeez. But this is just a little update. And yeah. Watch it. Because if you watch more of my video, I get more watch time. If I get more watch time, I get more popular. Because my channel shows up more and I get more money. I just pressed space bar and I didn't need to. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically just a little update. Hope you like um, Jesus. Um, I hope you like Jesus. <laughs> no, I hope you like Kingdom of Zareth. That's coming out every Wednesday. I've got videos to next week. Jeez, I need more videos of that too. Oh no, I might not be able to record that. Oh no. Oh wait, no, I've got a video for next week. Yeah, that's fine. That's all fine. That's fine. Phew. Panic there. Um, panic over. Uh, so, yeah, the Wanderer 2.0 won't be coming up this week. Ah, oh, jeez, it might not be coming up next week either. It'll come eventually, okay? Just be patient. I've got stuff to do. So, yeah, I will put other stuff in place of it because Fraps is working now. Most likely tutorials and stuff, because I'm cool. <laughs>